bit strong. It probably is the um, first of the quarterfinals, beg your pardon. First of the quarterfinals. Jumping the gun a little bit there. The first of the quarterfinals, Valam Lipatiliani of Georgia against Kejao Nabali of the Ukraine. I have to compliment the, uh, the Georgians on the, uh, the presentation of the arena. We've been coming here for quite a few years now. And uh, I think the European Championships, when they were held here in 2009, galvanized them into, you know, doing the arena up a bit. And they did. Um, it, it, it's comfortable. The things work now. You know, it's not five star, but it's perfectly adequate for, 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 for judo. But the one thing that they've managed to do is to get the heating working. <laughs> because it used to be bitterly cold in here. It's actually comfortably warm now. First time that I can remember being warm in uh, the arena in Tbilisi. So, congratulations to the uh, organizers here for getting that done. It makes all the difference. Nice competition uh, venue for both spectators and fighters. And uh, really high quality judo that we get to see whenever we come out here Patiliani it is who picks up the warning for passivity. Nabali's a handful. Uchimata! Oh. This time he went onto his face and not on his neck. Got to be careful about that, the Patiliani, because he throws everything at it. And there's a possibility that uh, he could get called for a head dive. So I'm glad that uh, even in that big Uchimata attempt there, he didn't go onto the... Uh, onto the head or neck. Two of the best youngsters in the category, the Patiliani and Nabali, drawn here in this quarter-final. Ipon Senaghi threw um, Gobea this morning beautifully with that. Two nice big attacks now from Le Patiliani. Just put, put one more in now. But uh, Nabali gets one in first. Minute 17 left on the clock. No score yet. Just a single warning to Lipatiliani for passivity earlier.
Head up, he's got to get his head up from there. Nabali looks dangerous. No, that was um, a missed sweep from Lipitiliani. Nabali can't claim that one. A minute left to go. Has to work with that grip, just turned off. Good Koichigari attempt there. From the Bali. Oh, could be a counter there from Lipatelliani, but he would have taken him from the ground, so no score. I don't think they're going to score that. On we go. Yes, turned out. He, he can't claim that. That would be spectacular if he was in control of that. If, if Lipitiliani was in control of that, that would be incredible. First of all, I mean, he, he's in the process of avoiding being thrown. He then has to flip through the air and throw his opponent onto his back. Can't be. I mean, you have to be a magician. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he is. <laughs> anyway, they're going to give that in a second. They'll, they'll come up with the decision now. My, my uh, opinion is no. The, it's not going to be... Uh, any score at all I think that's right you know if, if there's a score it's Ippon he's flat on his back but it's how he got there and I don't think Lipatiliani had that control no nope. yep yeah, goes on that was my uh, thought and it oh <laughs> Lipatiliani in again yes oh! They can't call Nabali for passivity because he was the one who... Oh, yes, yes, it is! That was in, he attacked him! Yes, it was the reaction to the attack. Instant reaction to the attack. And Lipatiliani... Lipatiliani reacted instantly to the attack from Nabali. That's the way it works. The leader of the Metro is Sparta, Hippotelliani, representing the 